hello welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to show you how to construct a 2x6 skin cake closure and that is what i used in the making of this week so basically this video is just going to show you how to take your measurements on the lace and if you want to learn how to ventilate i'm going to link a video in the description box on how to ventilate a 2x4 closure which is the same process with a 2x6 let's get right into the video your client wants a Kim K closure. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to mark out my measurement and ventilate the closure. Then we'll proceed into the wig making. So the first thing I want to I must do is to check the arrangement of the holes. So the part that is stretchy, this stretchy part is to face the front of the closure and the holes are arranged um vertically. When you get your list, you are going to see this. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to take out the measurement. I want a two by six, so it's the breadth that will be two and the length will be six. So the first thing to do, I'm going to take two inches, but now I'm not going to make it two inches. I'm going to mark out three inches here. I'm going to mark out three inches because I need a sewing allowance. So this is going to be the three from here to here. The excess of the extra one inch is to give me space when I want to sew. So but I'm going my ventilation is going to be between the one to two centim on um, the two inches so from here now to here a kim k closure is two by four is two by six so i'm going to mark out six point five six point five so this is where i'm going to cut i'm going to cut from here but my ventilation is not going to get to that so from here to this point now i have my 6.5 but what i need is six inches on this for the length so all i'm going to do now is to mark out where i'm going to stop for the two by for the two inch so i mentioned i added extra one inch for the two um for the two inches here i had now i have three inches but i need two so i'm going to leave extra 0 0.5 here extra 0 0.5 to on the left hand side so this is it this is extra this is the 2.5 and this is going to be the so between this point now to this point is the two inch i'm going to i'm going to work with to ventilate on this extra one between this place and this place is going to be my sewing allowance and what i'm going to do i'm going to cut from here to the point i already marked at the back but for the length as well i'm stopping on six inches because i need a two by six closure so this is where my ventilation is going to stop here for the length so all i'm going to do i'm going to cut out this place that i have marked and when i'm working with it i know what i'm going to do but let me just show you how it works So this is what I'm going to cut out, this shape right here, I'm going to cut it out and my ventilation actually is going to start from this point to this point, these ones here that are the extra, the sewing allowance. Now this is my two, this place to this place is my two inches. Now you know we're working to, we need a, uh, a middle part for the two by six so I'm going to mark out, the middle is going to be automatically one inch. So when I'm working now, this place, this one inch is going to be where I'm going to create my middle part when I'm done. So I'm going to show you when, the, when I'm done with the closure how it looks. So this is the measurement we have now. This is the measurement we have out now. So this is, this is from here now to here is 2 inches and from here to here is 6.5. But what I need is 2 by 6. So my ventilation, I'm going to leave extra 0 0.5 here in front which is going to be the extra list here because it's 6.5 so i added 0 0.5 to the actual length so this is where my extra lace in front what you see in front of your lace of your closure this is where mine is going to start from so i'm not my ventilation is not going to reach so my ventilation is not going to go beyond this point so this is the extra lace and this is from here to here is where i'm going to ventilate and from here to the back is what I'm going to ventilate. So from here to here now, it's six centimeter and um, it's six inches. And from here to here is um 
is two inches and this part here is where i'm going to leave my middle part which is one half of two half of two inch is one inch so this is the middle part and this is the extra list from here to here is the six so i'm going to start ventilating from this point to the back to the back and we'll have our two by six closure so this is what we have now this extra you know i measure, measured extra three points uh, instead of two here for the breadth I, me I measured three inches that is what we have here from here to here but i marked out the two like the two inches i'm going to work on so this extra 0 0.5 here extra 0 0.5 i mean the extra one inch i divided this into two that's 0 0.5 0 0.5 right so 0 0.5 here 0 0.5 here that's the sewing allowance then from here to here is the six inches because six inches you go one two by six six is going to be the length for a kim k closure so from here to here now is the six inches and from here from here to the front is the extra 0 0.5 this is going to be the extra lace in front so i'm just going to cut this place away so now i'm just going to start ventilating so my ventilation is just going to be within this region and as you can see this um the shape i already marked it out here so i'm just going to ventilate now and show you how it looks at the end so this is the final outcome i have a video on how to ventilate so you can check that one out the same way i ventilated the two by four is the same way i did this so now i'm just going to clean all this mark on it and sew it to the wig so this is the wig i made with the closure and as you can see the extra lace in front you can cut it you are definitely going to cut it off so please consider subscribing i have more content like this coming up please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video thank you